Hi, my name is Lauren Savani. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm the author of the blog Foodie House and I'm really excited to be making this video for you today. We're going to be making a super easy and delicious pasta dish featuring Newman's own saccharoni sauce and I've got some really great video tips for you. One of the things that I think is really important is to declutter your kitchen. That way people can focus on you and focus on the recipe. The other thing I like to do is to have all your ingredients prepped. That way you can quickly get the ingredients in the pan, get moving, and have a really great time. Now that I've showed you how to get your kitchen ready, I like to get myself ready a little bit. Sometimes I like to do a little stretching. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of a workout. Sometimes I like to do a little vocal warm up. Sakaruni, Sakaruni, Sakaruni. All right, guys, let's get started making our recipe. What I have here is my pan. It's nice and hot. I'm going to be adding a little bit of olive oil. Now, what I've got here is our chicken sausage, which I'm just going to brown this. When I'm browning the sausage, I like to get it really nice and caramelized. So give it a good 10 minutes. All right, my sausage is looking nice and brown, and I'm just going to start scooping that out. I'm going to set it on a plate here to the side. So I'm going to add in one clove of garlic. I've got half an onion. I'm going to let these sweat for a little bit, about three to four minutes. All right, so we're gonna get ready to add our mushrooms now. I've got about two cups of sliced baby portobello mushrooms. All right, our mushrooms are nice and brown. They've mixed really well with the onions and garlic. We've got our Newman's own saccharoni sauce. We're gonna pour that right in. And then we're gonna add our chicken sausage back into the whole mix. To keep the video fun, short, and engaging, just focus on the recipe steps and edit out the cooking time. Okay, now we have our pasta and our sauce, and we're just gonna toss it together. I've got some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, which is a must have. I'm just gonna sprinkle some fresh basil on top to finish up this really quick and fun dish. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this recipe featuring Newman's own saccharini sauce. And I hope you've learned some new tips and tricks on how to make a great recipe video of your own. Now let's take a taste. Mm. That is good. That is really good. Mm. Suck it to me, baby. Mm-hmm.